bucket of chicken. Oh. Bucket of chicken. Oh, I was going to say, because if she's anything like my mom, man, she cooks it up, boy. <laughs> but yeah, so, you know, that would be a way that you could establish yourself and a reputation here in the in the community. Right. You know, by issuing this currency for construction. And you offer the, you know, you say, okay, yeah, I can build your thing for, you know, I'll do it for one happy camper. I guess that, that this is the name I'm leaning toward for right, for the this currency? for the for the uh, labor based okay. currency, um, or or thing based because it would also that's how the merchants would participate. They would be offering their their products and services in exchange for the currency, and they issue they're able to issue their own currency for those and then they like i said they're able to either so they can get their currency back i mean this is how it's redeemed right is that they you know have some kind of special offer or whatever um to you know to redeem those and then there's also got to be a safety mechanism okay well what if matthew flakes out and splits down well (laughs) there's going to be an insurance policy just like fdic that provides for for any losses for the for the merchants that are holding on to you know your currency right. and we would accept that as some kind of loss or whatever and you know, the thing that's kind of so strange about it is i've kind of had these same types of of visions or whatever mm-hmm. that you're talking about in terms of, of a new currency in terms of, of what you're doing i've actually because i've always i've always been kind of anti-government Oh yeah, it was well, not good. Uh, and and in the way that they're running our fucking show, I don't like that Abusing at all. Abusing <laughs> fraud, waste, and abuse. That's <laughs> yeah, what I call it. To put it mildly, <laughs> fraud, waste, and abuse. Yeah, I don't appreciate it either. You know, I think taxes are theft, and no, we can provide we can provide all of this without that. Right. You know, I can understand some taxes. I can. I mean, I can't. I can't. <clears throat> only the ones that are constitutionally just, and that that's only imports and tariffs. I know, but I'm not. A, I'm not opposed to giving. You know, the Lord, my God, only asks for ten percent. Right. You know, I mean, okay, that's my God. I mean, I don't think the government is entitled to any more than 10 percent yeah but unfortunately they take a half oh, I know. a third yeah they're, they, they 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 got a big tithe don't they yes <laughs> yeah so i mean you know and so i've thought about this kind of stuff before and it's just kind of weird to actually meet somebody who could actually make this kind of stuff happen well I, I, you know I, I i'm involved i've been involved in all kinds of different things like i don't you know the venus project i've I'd like to go out to Florida and visit them, but I mean, they have lots of great plans and, you know, uh, uh, principles and stuff, but nobody's out there trying to do it. They all think that, oh, we're just going to build this city and it's just going to work. And what we have to do is start creating a mindset, you know, that the money, there isn't enough money to buy everything in the world. Right. But however, there's enough bounty in the world for everybody to have what they need. Be it land, water, food, shelter. There, there's plenty. They, you know what? They've got bigger, they've got fucking, the plans for the government for us are sinister, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. When you start looking into some of the... Uh, uh, Proposition 21 is a good example, probably. Oh, yeah. Agenda 21 and, uh, you know, other... Uh, executive orders which are totally unconstitutional it really is the way they use them oh yeah you know so uh, yeah and that's i mean and that's what and it's really funny because i was at the neighborhood watch meeting last night and you know i'm i'm just starting to get participating in that and uh one of the sheriffs was there and after the meeting, he goes, yeah, man, I've checked out your Happy Camper Public thing. <laughs> I was all like, oh, really? I was all like, yeah, well, that's what we're all, you know, we're about, you know, providing the basics of life without money. And he's all like, we need that. Really? So you got this, the sheriff this, behind this, you, too? This, well, he's a deputy. He's a deputy. But, um. The sheriff's pretty cool here, too, I guess. Oh, yeah, Lopey, Sheriff Lopey. Yeah, he's a vet. He, you know, he's a... He's not a uh, 
um, a quasher of rights, you know. I've been noticing. I mean, they, they might get a little in the gray area when it comes to the drug war still and stuff. But, you know, around here, um, it's not as bad as in other places. Really? I thought this was like the capital of, of, of all that. Well, you no, know, no, no. Mostly what they're looking TV. at, what, what, what they're looking at is mass. Oh, and okay. huge grows going off, all, you know. What's happening here, though? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like a couple of years ago, they had a 50,000 plant grow that was going on down the river or up the river a little bit. So, yeah, it's definitely going on here, but that's, that's not the, um, you know, we don't have drug squads kicking in doors. Right, right, right. You know, I... That, I, or I should say, it happens only occasionally. I actually saw something on Discovery Channel about Siskiyou County and the drug, the, the pod growing here. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's lots of it. Everybody grows around here. Yeah, I know, I know. Everybody, because, but it's legal. Right, if you got, if you got your... Recommendation, right. you know, like I do. Right. So, you know, it's, um, eh, sure, there's maybe some people that, you know... Maybe go a little over the line, but you know, it's not, I don't know. I, I don't think it's a problem, but right, well, the government, I think we got a meth problem. We got a big meth problem and alcohol problem in this community. That's way bigger. I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't have known about the meth problem. I didn't know about Oh, that. the meth is nationwide. Every community in the nation has it actually. Oh. Like when I was in jail in Texas last year. All my cellmates were in for a drug-related offense. None of them were violent. You know, or, you know, none of them had anything that was aggravated or anything. No property crimes. Like, one guy was a, viola a probation violation for a meth charge. Um, the other guy was a uh, um, it was an alcohol-related deal. He got popped, like, sitting in his truck in his driveway drunk as a skunk in his own driveway yeah <laughs> it was like i guess right by the highway or something so they got him um for a dui um and the uh other guy was a doper he was uh distribution uh possession of narcotics, mess. Yeah, I, didn't, I didn't hear. They didn't. Cause I, I saw a whole thing on the Discovery Channel about this county in the pot, and they didn't mention anything at all about that. Map. Oh yeah, well yeah. That, like I said, that's that's a nationwide epidemic. It's even in the small, sleepy little towns where you wouldn't think that um, it's happening. In fact, oh. that's one of the, that was one of the things we were talking about in the neighborhood watch meeting last night. Was how bad, you know, little pockets of town where there's lots of drug activity and there was a big assault just a couple of days ago. A friend of mine got his head freaking crushed, but you know, that's probably his own making because he ripped somebody off yeah, for well, freaking dope money. You can't open that door up and look inside that little building. Well, here, let me, um, 